Hi, I'm Paul, and this week we're testing what has to be one of the most bonkers bikes to come out of Germany yet, the BMW S1000R. Now it's a bit of a no-brainer this bike. What BMW have done is taken the very, very successful S1000 RR Super Sport machine, changed the cams, changed the engine work a little bit, changed the mapping. It's dropped about 30 horsepower, but what it's gained is a whole heap more real-world usability. So as you'll notice, BMW have stuck with the asymmetric scheme with the S1000R. So it's still got the odd headlights at the front, it's still different on either side, it's still got the little stubby exhaust can. It is unmistakably one of the S1000 range. This is one of the first models we've seen with MSC, which is Motorcycle Stability Control. It's from Bosch and the bike works it out if you're in a panic situation and you're grabbing a handful of brakes It'll work out your lean angle, how much brake, the traction. It might put a little bit of back brake on for you just to pull the whole thing together. It works it out for you and just adds to that whole safety package. What's quite unusual with this naked bike is BMW have seen fit to put things like cruise control and heated grips on. So it's also very, very usable. As you'd expect, there's switchable power mapping. There's also switchable suspension controls. And also there's a dynamic mode. So if you put the powers into dynamic and you're just cruising along, the bike just relaxes, the suspension becomes nice and supple. You then give it a bit of that, the bike knows that you're upping the pace. It firms everything up for you automatically. Now, obviously being a naked bike, the ergonomics are slightly more relaxed than the S1000RR Superbike. You've got nice wide bars. If anything, they're possibly a little bit too wide because the bike's still very, very agile with the setup. And with a massive amount of leverage you get from the wide bars, you really can get this thing on its ear surprisingly fast. What they've managed to do with the package is make it a surprisingly comfortable road bike. Even the pillion seat, which doesn't look like much, actually isn't too bad and you can do serious distances on this bike and still be comfortable. The change in the engine characteristics mean it is very, very usable on the road. You're not having to flick up and down the gearbox to overtake cars. It has got heaps of power exactly where you need it. Now this model we've tested has got what's called the Shift Assist Pro on it. It's like a quick shifter. It helps you changing gears, but it also works changing on the way down. It doesn't like it when you're just cruising around, but when you turn the wick up and you're actually on the pace, it works really, really well. Now, not only have we spent a lot of time on the road on this S1000, we've also been to Hampton Downs, our local racetrack. Spent the day there, fiddled with the switches, had a blast around just to see what it's like. And quite unbelievably, it's almost as good as the RR Superbike. And the proof in the pudding, as it were, is the back tire. After spending a day at Hampton Downs on a road bike, you'd expect it to be destroyed but being able to set the S1000R up how you like it, firm it up for the racetrack, making the most of the traction control system, that tire's still good to go for the trip on the way home. Now the importers of BMW to New Zealand, they're really only bringing the top spec models in because that's pretty much what everybody wants. So how much for this S1000R as you see it? 24,250 plus on-road costs. And for that, you really are getting a state-of-the-art motorcycle. 